Alright, so as you guys know from the title, and as you could pretty much recognize it, off of eBay I picked up a nice uh, M57 firing device, which is called the Clacker, for most, or most people know it as the Clacker. And um, it was sold as a non-working one, and I wish I had a picture of it beforehand, but the reason that was a non-working one, and that I thought, was there was a big clump of plasticky crap on the back here. I cleaned it off and then I got a little bit too uh, a little too fancy with trying to pull it off and it had softened up the rest of the plastic so I'm assuming it was some sort of heat that got a hold of it. And uh, I was able to actually chip out this stuff here and it's got a feeling of pretty much dry bubble gum so anyways, not what this video is about. When I got it, I saw that it was saying that it wasn't working and everything was blocked, like completely covered here. So I said, oh, person can't push it down because it's uh, all jammed up. And I'll clean that up and then I'll have a fully functioning one. Not quite. So I said, okay, I removed all that. Then I took it apart, which isn't an easy thing to do. You've got to sort of work your way in there and break the glue that holds it together. And I said, well, I'll figure out what's wrong with it, and at the same time, we'll make a video of how these things work. A lot of people think uh, a bunch of different stuff. When I first heard about these things here when I was a kid, I thought it was just a battery, so you close it, and it connects a circuit. A lot of people think it's a piezoelectric or piezoelectric or whatever you want to call it. And that uh, makes sense, because you click click all the time but it's also not that it's an actual generator I know some of you already knew that but for the people who didn't it works like a uh, it's basically a linear generator so I'll open this up if I can get this apart again easily and I'll show you what the inside looks like which many people don't see all right right there is what you have. I found out that I had two issues. One, the uh, soldering was causing problems because it was uh, badly done and had started oxidizing. So I decided to redo that and while I was redoing that the wires, the original wires on it I could tell weren't working properly. They had problems too so I said okay instead of doing that I'll just put new longer wires back through. And that's what you have here. So I got that working, I took it apart, and I put it on my oscilloscope that I have. And I checked it out, and it wasn't even giving me a volt of electricity. So basically how this works is that it uses a coil in a magnetic field. So you've got south to north, or north to south, I have no clue which way it was. And when you push down on this you're supposed to get basically a click when it goes down which it used to do but after I took it apart it stopped doing that for some reason so I've got to figure out what does that Just click on the way down and then when you get to the bottom here you get the other click and that shifts this inside the coil which is just a standard metal bar nothing too fancy about it and that movement causes a shift in the magnetic field. Well, that's going right through there. And that shift sort of induces current. Well, sort of. It does induce current in the coil here. And that's what creates the 3 volts. I was able to attach two neodymium magnets to this thing here when I pulled it out. Which I could try to pull out for you guys again. Look the same thing on the other side. Anyways, and um, I am getting about 4 volts now out of it problem is it's supposed to click on the way down which I can't figure out any other reason that it would do that other than the magnetic I guess field or whatever the steel here becomes a magnet and this sticks to it because if you pushed on here there is a spring so it would allow this to go up for a while and then finally release come back down 
so that would be the first click would be caused by that part there and the second click I'd like to take this off but I don't know if I can for you guys this is basically the whole thing in here see but I've taken this all apart I don't want to do it again because it is a pain to get back together but this is just a spring and this is the metal uh, cap and what happens is it pushes down and you see the two ball bearings are well those are the only thing that's actually forcing on this here you can see that it's sort of shaped a little bit odd anyways the bottom one when you push it down when it gets to the bottom of here there's a bit of a ramp and those two ball bearings get pushed into the into this piece here by the ramp so it gets pushed in there's just a little spring between the two of them and once it pushes in then it slips past this and allows this to come back up while the button's down and that's how you get your second click. Like I said, the first click I'm not sure about. I assumed it was something to do with strength of the magnets. But there wasn't much magnetic field to start off with. And after I took it apart, everything just went to shit. But after I installed the other two magnets, I still wasn't getting it. So if anyone actually has an idea of how that works, let me know. Because that one there, I can't seem to get back to giving me the voltage so basically what it does is the first one goes induces a positive voltage and then when it releases and comes back up there's a negative voltage so it just the current goes in the two different directions and the three volts is enough to set off a number six blasting cap with apparently a hundred feet of wire because it's so quick I can't even get a light bulb to light up because there's not enough time that it heats up the element to see it light up so I don't quite know how I wonder if I find a 1.5 volt light bulb if it'll change anything but that's for a different time when I get this thing finished and put together but I just wanted to make a video showing you guys exactly how these things actually work and why they aren't battery powered and why they aren't an actual uh, piezoelectric or piezoelectric fuse not fuse piezoelectric button I guess so like I said they are good and everything, problem is with time magnets lose their magnetism and it turns into a loss of voltage basically. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, hope it showed how these things actually work and I should have a few more videos up soon, it's just that I've been busy with work and really no motivation for the most part, I also had a trip I was on so it's been a bit of a busy summer. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this and if you have any questions please leave them in the comments, I'll try to answer them. Thanks again.